Hey guys, I am recording through my phone, something which I've not been able to do for a month because of an issue with Google. And it beat me. The issue beat me. Uh, I talked about this a few weeks ago. I had an issue and it's called the checking info loop or checking info stuck loop or something like that. If you search online, you'll find a lot of people that have had this problem with Google. I have no idea what caused it. I just know that it started with my contacts and then when I kind of del it, one of the tutorials advised me when my contacts weren't syncing to delete my Google account and then add it back in. When I tried to add it back in, I couldn't do it. What happens is you sign up, you sign into your Google account as normal, you sign in, it verifies your account and then it goes back to the start. You sign in, verifies the account, goes back to the start. And it's that, at that point that you realise how important a Google account is to an Android phone. It's used for everything, you know, especially, you know, as a YouTuber, because not only was, you know, I use, you know, the YouTube app to do a live stream. I use the YouTube video app to upload a video and edit a video as well. I use Gmail. I use a, a host of other apps as well, but I also use Google Drive for backups and things like that. Uh, and this is one of the things that I didn't know until today is that WhatsApp backs up to Google Drive as a backup. I couldn't, I remember I'd set up, set up backups for WhatsApp, but I didn't know that it was Google Drive. So I only had photos and conversa uh, conversations and messages and all that from one month ago. So I've lost a month of um, conversations, photos and all that. Um, quite annoying, very, very annoying, but eventually I just came to the point where like, you know what, I don't care, I just want to be able to use my phone again. So I bit the bullet and I reset my phone. I did make one mistake and this was nothing to do with anyone else, it was just my own stupidity. I used a, an application called SyncDroid, it's like a Windows application, it syncs to your phone and I backed up my apps and I backed up my text messages and all that. I didn't back up my photos on purpose because I thought the photos from WhatsApp and all my camera and all that was saved to my micro SD card. I was wrong. So, I, you know, all the photos from the last month uh, has been lost. It's not a big problem though. It's not something I'm really uh, fretting about. There's a few other things that I need to set up. You know, this is normal when you get a new phone or you reset a phone. I always find it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but I got it, um, at least I've got it working now. My phone can record videos again because sometimes I do like recording videos through my phone. As far as the checking info loop error, there's a lot of solutions out there. There's a lot of suggested solutions by Google, by, you know, even by the phone manufacturers themselves, like me and LG and Sony and, you know, whoever. But I tried every single one of them and none worked. I reset my phone, I, I reset the cache, I deleted the cache of Google Play services and all the other Google apps, I four stops, I disabled them, I updated the applications manually uh, through mirrors and all the other, uh, you know, just downloaded the AP key files. I tried every single solution suggested and none of, the, none of them worked. The most frustrating one was the Google Authenticator, um, you know, it's a security app that you use to log into different accounts online. That is actually tied to the device. Uh, I, I just assumed that it would be synced with your Google account. It's not, it's synced to the device and that's, you know, potentially that could have been a major problem for me. Uh, but it's just a minor pain in the ass. What I need to do is actually contact a few websites and get them to reset the number and, you know, my account and all that. Um, and again, my mistake, I, I should have known that. I should have had to uh, have done that. I should have did a little bit more research. But it's been so long, it's been a year or so since I've, uh, you know, moved over a phone, so there you go. So, yeah, guys, I've got my phone working again. It's one of those things, I do a lot of research whenever I face a problem like this and I try and resolve it. I try and exhaust every avenue. Unfortunately, it does seem that if you try all the suggested um, methods that Google and a few other people suggest, it might work for you. But if you don't find anything work and you've got this sign-in loop with Google, it does look like resetting your phone is the only option, but before you do that, I do recommend exploring some um, backup apps and backup applications, that perhaps ones that you use your laptop and sync to your phone and backup as much as you can, photos, videos, anything that you want to keep. Um, for me, it was more time than anything else than losing data, but finally I got it sorted and I can move on. So thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about that. 
And again, if you've got that sign in uh, loop info problem, try all the suggested problems out there that are on online. But ultimately, I think a lot of people will just have to reset their phone, unfortunately. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.